makes me feel powerful. Running makes me feel powerful. Being creative makes me feel powerful. Swimming makes me feel powerful. <laughs> Confidence makes me feel powerful. Being myself makes me feel powerful. You go, girls. That's a, a great, great lineup right there. Uh, two sisters are on a mission to make all girls feel powerful, feel seen, valued, and heard with their Girl Powerful program. And joining us now, one of those sisters, Teddy Surge. Good morning, Teddy. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Girl Powerful. So tell us all about this program and why you started it. Yeah, so I'm an educator, and I was just seeing a lot of girls not know how to manage their emotional and social health, especially during like lunch, recess, after school. And so I kind of started digging into how I could help them because I feel like life's too short to always be in turmoil with yourself and your peers. So my sister and I, we started the Girl Powerful after school program and it's 10 weeks. And then we designed our new book and it's for you to spark your inner confidence. And you do that by working on yourself. You you goal set, you learn how to risk take, you do self care rituals, all the things that like we needed when we were younger, we put in this book. Oh, what age group are you hoping to kind of reach with this? Yeah, so our age group we work with is eight to 14 year olds. Okay. That's the confidence gap. And so girls, that's when they lose 30% of their confidence yeah. unless people like us, mentors and coaches outside of the home work with girls on their self-esteem. Oh, Teddy, you're taking me back to those years, eight to 14, probably yeah. the most difficult, right? For many, many people. What do you wish you had known maybe or had been told when you were that age? I think I just wish that it was, that I knew it was okay to be unique and to kind of lean into that and not just conform to be so identical to my friends. And that is a hard thing. But when you are in a group of girls or like you are in a girl powerful class, that can come out even if it's just in that hour that they're in our virtual classroom with us. And that's so important. So the confidence um, you can work on through the workbook journals. And then you also have an affirmation deck. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. So affirmations are mantras and I am statements that you can say to yourself to kind of rewire your brain and choose how you want to talk to yourself because we're all stuck in the negative mind all the time. So these are, we have 64 cards okay, and they all have a different affirmation and then something to go do, whether it be a journaling prompt or go to the mirror and say something kind to yourself. Teddy, can you I pull one for me? I want to see what you uh, pull out maybe of the deck so I can uh, be all right. reminded. This is, actually, this is so funny because, you know, the news, the weather, it says, just like the weather, I will change. And over the last year, we've all seen so many changes, which we all just have. Right. Anyway, so it says, think back to this time last year and notice how much you have changed. Say out loud three positive changes in your life. Wow. Say out so loud. So <laughs> everyone just has the opportunity to like pick out the positive things because yeah. I know I've grown so much. I know the girls like ever, even though they're anxious and lonely and all the things that, you know, virtual learning has put on them. There's also all been silver linings for a lot of people. Right, right. I mean, even just to know that you've come a long way in a year, we all really have um, it's mm -hmm. it's hard to remember that when you're kind of stuck in the day to day and the stresses of whatever life brings you. But um, you know, a year ago at this time, it was a completely different level of <laughs> where our world was. Uh, you know, covering the news, obviously, we were kind of in the mm -hmm. thick of it all. So it's nice to see things have changed. Thank you for that. I actually needed. Yeah, to we just. That. I think that this would be a really helpful tool for a family, like at the mm -hmm. breakfast table or sometime when in the car, even when you're always like, how was your day? And your kid doesn't answer you. What if you pull the card and then it kind of leads you into this yeah. kind of organic conversation. Yeah, it makes you think about it. Uh, tell us, Teddy, what other upcoming events do you have and where can we get more information? Yeah, our next online self-care summit, Girl Powerful Self-Care Summit is gonna be May 15th. 10 to 12 PST, and we're gonna do skincare, cooking to fuel your body, and movement, because we all need to start moving and get active and send all those positive body chemicals to our brain. So you can sign up for that May 15th summit at girlpowerful.org, and you can also shop our book mm -hmm. and our card deck.
That's awesome. Girlpowerful.org. A very memorable website you got there. <laughs> Teddy, thank you for your time this morning and for sharing that. Thank you.